Yo, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to be talking about the share certificate, the share warranty, and the transfer of shares in a company. In our previous video, we talked about allotment of shares, which also means distribution of shares in both private and public companies. So we shall start with a share certificate. A share certificate is a document that shows one's ownership of shares in a company. And according to Section 82 of the Companies Act, it states that 60 days after the allotment or the transfer of shares, the company must deliver to the owner's share certificates. And then compliance with this makes the company and the directors to be liable for to be liable to a default fine. And any aggrieved allotee can serve the company with a note to give his certificate. He can remind the company to give him his certificate. But if the company still fails, then he can apply to court for such an order. Yeah, a share certificate is prima facie evidence that the owner has title to the shares. Yeah, prima facie evidence is evidence which on the face of it cannot be challenged. Let's now look at the legal effects of a share certificate. First is that a share certificate is prima facie evidence that the holder is the owner of the shares, and this is according to Section 92 of the Companies Act. Then the share certificate stops the company from denying that the holder is the owner of the shares. Yeah, it stops the company from denying that the one having the share certificate is the owner of the shares. Then lastly, it also stops the company from denying that the company's shares are paid up as indicated in the certificate. Let's look at a share warranty. A company can choose to issue either a share certificate or a share warranty. And according to Section 95 of the Companies Act, it provides that if the articles of association authorize, a company may instead of issuing a share certificate, issue a share warranty in respect of any fully paid shares. Therefore, a share warranty is only issued against fully paid shares. And a share warranty is a negotiable document that is easily transferable by mere delivery to another person. And the holder of a share warranty is entitled to receive dividends as decided by the company. Then let's look at the conditions for issue of a share warranty. First is that they can only be issued by companies limited by shares. And there must be a provision in the articles of association regarding the issue of a share warranty. And then it can only be issued against fully paid shares. Let's look at the advantages of a share warranty of a share certificate. First is that a share warranty entitles the holder to transfer its shares by mere delivery of the warranty. There is nothing else that is involved. While for a share certificate, the transfer of the shares is only effective after registration of the transfer. Then, secondly, a purchaser of a share warranty takes the shares concerned free of equities if it's a bona fide purchaser, like it's just free of equities. While a purchaser of a certificate must be registered as a shareholder before he can become a legal owner of the shares. Yeah, so a share warranty involves less form formalities compared to getting a share certificate. Yeah. Let's look at transfer of shares. A shareholder can transfer or sell all his shares to another person because shares in a company are a movable property and can be transferred as stated in the articles of the company. Yeah, and this is according to section 84 of the Companies Act. Yeah, where the shareholder dies, his personal representative can still transfer his shares to another person even if his his personal representative is not a member of the company, and this is common in single member companies, and it's according to Section 86 of the Companies Act. And that was all about the share certificate, share warranty, and then transfer of shares in a company. 
thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like comment share with your friends and watch my next video we shall be talking about raising of capital through a loan